Hey everybody. I'm waiting for a few more people to get in here so we're gonna get started. You got your, these acrylic brushes. Don't throw them away, please. Let me show you. There's a lot of ways to save them, rejuvenate them, and also maintain them. Best thing, like anything else, when you use, you have to make sure you maintenance. Take care of your brushes. These brushes are your bread and butter. You need these brushes. If you don't have these brushes, you cannot work. And they're expensive, especially if you're getting a high quality one. Um, you know you're spending about 30 to $40, depending on where you buy it from. Um, a few things I want to show, make sure you guys understand, is that these acrylic brushes, the hair on here, depending on what company you buy them from, they are either Kalinsky hair or they are synthetic hair. There's a big difference. If it's synthetic, then there's really no point of you doing this process because synthetic is really a plastic. It cannot be reconditioned. A hair um, from Kalinske is like a sable hair and like an animal hair. So it has a little bit of ability to be rejuvenated because of, you know, the protein and stuff in the hair. So it's a little bit more high quality. Of course, you want to use something more high quality. And you can tell, by the way, just by touching the hair. So I've had these brushes. Um, some of these I use every day. Some of these I've left and accidentally had acrylic built into it. So I have been waiting for this moment to do this and then to show you guys how I do it. So I generally use my brushes for at least six months to a year, sometimes even over a year, depending how well I take care of them. And I do do this probably once every three months or when I feel like I, I, I've forgotten acrylic in it and I didn't clean it properly because I'm in a rush. So I've been soaking these brushes in acetone. Yes, acetone. We all say, hey, don't soak it in acetone. But the problem, the reason why I'm doing an acetone, not monomer, is because I want to remove everything. And of course, acetone will break down this a lot faster and easier than monomer, and it will break down all the acrylic and get everything out into the into the uh, monomer. Yes, it will dry out your acrylic brushes, but since we are going to be rejuvenating, we're going to be re, you know, applying moisture to these brushes, and we're going to be able to, you know, um, revive them and it will, it will counter the acetone. I'm not saying do this every day, every week, every month, only once in a while or when you run into a situation where you have acrylic just caked in there and you have you want to deep clean, okay? So they've been sitting in there for a while now. Some of these have more acrylic in than others. So let's check on them right now, okay? Um, this is about 30 minutes. So this is my um, 16 brush, of course, one of my favorites. And the first thing you see is that all the, the acrylic has been out of this because it's either been broken down or has been is transferred itself into the monomer. So I'm gonna use my favorite towel and I'm gonna clean it real quick. And I'm gonna definitely check. My best way of checking is I thread my fingers through like this, I flick it through. And if you feel any kind of like chunks, maybe it's just still wet, but if you feel any chunks, big chunks, you know that there's acrylic stuck onto the brush. So we can just rinse and repeat. And if there's too much, you just do it again and again. So the main thing we want to do is get this nice and dry. Dry and also free of any acrylic. So I feel like this all free of acrylic at this point. Maybe a little bit here, but like I said, it's not clumped up anymore, you see? Um, I've already shown you guys this before I I, um, I did this. It was, there was a lot of acrylic in this brush, uh, uh, especially. And um, another thing I want to keep reminding you guys, do never trim the brushes. Do you see these little tiny bristles, that little light ones? Do you think that's annoying? These are not supposed to be trimmed. Please do not trim these, okay? Do not trim this. Because this, these little tiny bristles right here, there's the softness of the brush. If you trim it, it becomes very harsh. So when you use acrylic or you're trying to do patting it down, it actually, it'll split, it'll split the, 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 the brush in half like this. You get people have brushes that split like this because they trim this and it won't, it won't allow the, the brush to come together. So this brush is good. I'm going to clean it and I'm going to put it aside. I'm going to check on my next brush. So all my brushes are Kalinsky and they are good, high, high quality. This is one of my very first ones. You see how the logo, the logo difference. Um, I just, this is the same brush. I just changed the logo a little bit. So a lot of you guys have this triple seven and a lot of you guys have the Neta Studios. It's because I do Neta Studios just too long. So, so now I'm gonna check the same way I check all the other ones. Feather my finger through. When you feather through with your hands, you can feel it, okay? And visually, sometimes we see the brush and we think, oh, it's clean on the outside, but there might be acrylic in the inside we may, we may not notice. That's why we get acrylic stuck in the brush because after we're done working, we just like, oh, it's clean, but there might be acrylic stuck in there. So the best thing to do is feather through like this. And when you feather through, you can actually feel the brush. See, I felt that. So I'm gonna take my hand, I'm just gonna. This one's actually really good too, all right. So we have two down. So we have another 14. 
And of course, if you soak anything in acetone for 30 minutes, anything that's in there is gonna come out, you know? So it's very, it's, 30 minutes is definitely a, a good amount of time, depending on how, how kicked on your brushes are. And my also my favorites are these tens right here. I love using my tens. So I definitely wanted to clean these. I've been putting on the back burner. I see it. You guys see that right now? You see whether there's still acrylic left? See how the big chunks will start feathering right here? I know there's acrylic in there. I can see acrylic in there. See that? Like, you can literally see the acrylic in there popping out. See that? I don't know if you can see it from your end. See that? That's acrylic in there. But it's been broken down to little particles. This needs to be very caked in. You see? All that acrylic? Yes. I actually wanted you guys to see this. So now, this acrylic is no longer dry. You see, it's very wet. So if I feather through, you can see all the little specks. So all I gotta do is dump it into my acetone and those specks will essentially be transferred back into the acetone and you rinse and repeat and see, there's less now, less and less, okay? And now I'll just keep rinsing and repeating that process because I've broken down that acrylic is no longer hardened. So it's able to come right out from just slight motion and look at that now less and less and less and you just rinse and repeat the process yes we i don't recommend you do this every week because the acetone does hurt your brush dry it out but once in a while we don't want to throw away our acrylic brushes and look at that now so nice and clean still a little bit left in here so i'm going to repeat this about maybe two three more times because the acrylic is already in small specks and particles, once you get it wet in the, uh, in the acetone, it just transfers to over to the acetone because it's just small enough. It's no longer bonding to your hair, the hair of your um, your brush. Amazing. This was so caked on when I first started. Now it's so nice. And, and the thing with Kalinsky is you're, you're able to get away with, you know, uh, doing this because it's, it's, a real, it's good Kalinsky hair. If you have a plastic synthetic brush, a lot of you guys will know, you're never going to be able to do this. Because it's just plastic, it won't have that same effect. But this brush is, I'm happy with it and to this extent. I know that when I work with this again, it's going to be okay. All right. There we go. If you ever have a little hair stuck out like this, just pinch it off and pull it. Don't pull it outward. Pinch it over and pull it downward and you leave the stem in here. The reason why you don't want to pull it outward is because you don't want to take the hair out and it will loosen up the barrel and then you'll have more hair falling out. You want to pinch it or cut it off right here so that it doesn't, it leaves this root in there so it holds the brush together. That's very important. A little bit of a gem I just dropped there for you guys. I don't, and just so you know, I never clean my brushes. I only ever do deep cleans. I only clean my brush after I'm done with sets. And we'll have another one, there's another 10. And you can tell this one has acrylic in it, look at that. It's just chunked up. So I'm just gonna rinse and repeat. So this is the first step of cleaning your brushes. Getting all this acrylic out, see that? All that acrylic is getting out. It's already soft from the acetone, so we don't have to worry. Now I'm leaving for San Jose tomorrow, so I'm gonna clean these brushes, condition them, and leave them overnight. And then when I come back, I'm gonna start using them again. So there we go. Everything's out. Now, what's the next step you say? Okay. I wanna make sure I wanna get these brushes as dry as possible. So the acetone really helped me with that because now it's dried out my brushes and it's gonna start to poof out. You know, it's, it's not like when, you know when you use monomer? You know when you use monomer? that brush kind of stays together. But when you use acetone, it kind of just like, see, it'll, it'll, it'll do that. You know, the hair will stick out. Why? Because it's dried out. So we need to rejuvenate. We're gonna get rid of our monomer and we got our brushes. Next thing we're gonna do is we are gonna take a little bit of cuticle oil, any type of oil um, that you want, just standard cuticle oil you want. I'm going to apply this into the brush and I'm gonna let it soak into it because this oil is going to keep those hairs nice and soft and look it's going to soak into the brush see that it's soaking into the brush because the brush is so dry just like anything else when you have dryness and you add any moisture the brush is going to want to soak it all up okay and we're going to rinse and repeat i recommend a non-scented oil just a nice cuticle oil is fine I, this is what i had in the shop right now gonna apply it onto all of our brushes 
and make sure it soaks in nice and easy. There we go. And now what? Now I am going to do my next step. Now the oil's in there, but the oil's not strong enough to keep everything together. So now I'm gonna shape my brush. Basically, if you have a crimp brush, most of my brush are crimp. I'm gonna shape it the way I want it. So that's the shape I want this brush. Done. This brush. You see where I'm crimping it? I'm gonna shape it where I want it. Done. This brush. Shape it the way I want it. Done. This brush. Shape the way I want it. And ideally, yes, this is gonna this is gonna stay together, but I want it. I want it to harden. So my next step is I want to make sure that it's not gonna stay together. That when the oil does when the oil dries out, it's not gonna poof out again. So I take regular top coat. Yes, regular top coat. Regular top coat is sticky, and it'll bond everything together. But also, it's easy to be removed, and it won't damage your brush. I'm gonna apply thin layers on both sides. And when this top coat dries, it's gonna give a nice seal to everything. And it's gonna hold the brush, hold the shape that I want it. That whenever I, when I use monomer to um, clean this, the monomer is just gonna be able to remove the top coat very easily. And my brush, I, gen I recommend letting it sit overnight or 24 hours at best. It'll hold the shape, holds the moisture and it'll be just like brand new. And I've done this before where I've had, an, I've had a brush prep already and I showed you guys what happens when I clean it out. And when I clean it out and use it, it was just like brand spanking new. So, nice top coat, very thinly. Now this top coat would dry and it'll be hardened, but don't worry, it's not like a hard, it's not a hardened effect like, um, like acrylic is. It's a nice, because top coat is just, you know, it's very easy to be removed. So it just nice, gives it a nice sticky sealant. Like how when you first get your brushes and it's really hard and you have to clean it, something like that, but it's actually not as um, not as um, strong. So now, I have my brushes. All of them have been clean, conditioned. Some of them have more acrylic than others. As you see, these is gonna stay the shape. And you do not wanna store these laying down. A lot of you guys wanna put it on your table, on your drawer, be careful because you put this on your drawer on your table and you accidentally have something run over this and it puts it in a certain direction, that taco is gonna dry and it's gonna keep that shape that, that size. I recommend storing them standing up inside a uh, cup or something like that, okay? So inside a cup, inside a cup, and it'll be standing up or just have a styrofoam thing, stand up 24 hours, use monomer, clean out all the residue and the oil and your brush should be good as new. So I hope you guys really enjoy that. Um, this is just a quick tutorial how I clean brushes. I always, I do this because I want to make sure that anybody that purchases any of my products will use it forever. I've had people that have been still using my brushes for a year now. And that means that they've been following my instructions. They've been listening to how to clean brushes and how to properly take care of your brushes. This is very expensive. You cannot do nails without this. And this should be the one item that you can use the longest and get the most money's worth out of. I don't want you guys to be wasting money. I want you guys to be able to use this for years. Six months is the ideal time to use a acrylic brush where you can guarantee you've gotten at least 50 times your money's worth out of the brush. That means within six months, you should have done enough sets with it, that, that brush to get its money's worth. So invest in the brush that is high quality, that will last you. Don't think about the money. I've seen a lot of people spend $70, $80 on brush and use it for a week and throw it away. Okay? The quality you're paying for is in this right here. 90% of the price is in this. So if this is good quality, you're good to go. But like I said, you always have to take care of it, maintain it. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick tutorial. Um, I really appreciate you guys joining me. I just finished cleaning my studio. I want to do this quick tutorial because every time I clean my studio, I always clean my brushes too. All right, you guys, you guys have a great day, a great night, okay? So we're gonna go through that again. Acetone, clean it, soak for 30 minutes, then take it out. Clean all that residue excess, get rid of your acetone, apply oil. Any cuticle oil you want, shape your brush the way you want it, apply top coat thinly on both sides, shape it, let it dry, standing up. Thank you guys. I'll see you guys later. All right? I wish I could do more. 
So when do we use our brushes? You're not gonna be cleaning out with acetone. Anytime you use your brush, you're gonna be cleaning it consistently. Anytime you're using a brush, it's already been in contact with monomer, no acrylic should be dried on your brush. So after you clean your brush, you should be able to clean it the same way how I clean it when I, after I took out the, out the acetone. Feather it through with your finger and clean it and get rid of all the residue. This is only when you have to deep clean a brush or recondition an old brush or you accidentally left acrylic onto your brush and you have to soak in acetone. You do not want to use acetone ever when cleaning your brush consistently. You can't clean your brush with acetone every time you do a full set. It's going to dry your brush out. And once it's dried out, it's no longer going to be able to be rejuvenated. Okay, so I hope that helped you guys.